This is a tutorial on reactions and solution, in particular reaction stoichiometry in solution. So if we consider this reaction, we've got KiO3 plus 3KHSO3 reacting to form a Ki and 3KHSO4. So if we take 24.3 milliliters of that 0.1 molar KiO3 and react that with 15.4 milliliters of 0.25 molar KHSO3. We want to determine the limiting reactant and we want to determine the molarity of each reactant product at the end of the reaction. So if we consider our table representation, initially we're adding 0.1 molar KiO3 to 0.25 molar KHSO3 with none of either of the products. However, considering there's a dilution effect, that's not really going to work. We're going to need to use moles or millimoles, and then we'll convert back to concentration. So we're going to use millimoles in this case, because the numbers will be easier to handle on a table. In the case of the KiO3, we're going to use 24.3 milliliters times 0.1 molar, giving us 2.43 millimoles of KiO3. Now for the KHSO3, we're going to take 15.4 milliliters times 0.25 molar KHSO3 for a total of 3.85 millimoles. Now coming back to our table representation, we can stick millimoles in there instead of molarity, which will make it easier to interrelate the stoichiometry. So we want to determine the limit between active. We need to choose a product to calculate using our moles. In this case, I'll choose Ki arbitrarily. So we're going to start with our 2.43 millimoles of KiO3. And we're going to use our mole ratio. One mole of Ki to one mole of KiO3. And so there, we've got a one-to-one -one mole ratio, giving us 2.43 millimoles of Ki as the product. For the KHSO3, what we know is there is a 3 to 1 indicated by the lack of a coefficient mole ratio. And so we'll have one third as many moles of Ki, giving us 1.28 millimoles of Ki. So what we find is that the KHSO3 produces the least amount of product, and therefore it is the limiting reactant. And we find that our theoretical yield for this reaction would be 1.28 millimoles of the Ki. So moving to our table representation, we can now add some information to it. We find that we can, we get 1.28 millimoles of Ki, like we just said, and we use up all 3.85 millimoles of our limiting reactant, ending up with none. Now, we want to calculate KHSO4 from only the limiting reactant, now that we know what that is. We're going to start with 3.85 millimoles of KHSO3 using our mole ratio. We've got now a 3 to 3 relationship, and so it should have equal numbers of moles, which we do. Now, so we get 3.85 millimoles of KHSO4. We go back to our table now. We've added in the KHSO4 of 3.85 millimoles. Now we just need to know about the KIO3. So we want to calculate the KiO3 based on only the limiting reactant once again. We're going to start with 3.85 millimoles of KHSO3. 
using our stoichiometry, three moles of that to one mole of the KiO3. And then we'll finally get one third as much, or 1.28 millimoles of KiO3, are needed to react up 3.85 millimoles of KHSO3. So if we go back to our table, we can fill in some more. And we find that we react up 1.28 millimoles of KiO3 and end up with 1.15 millimoles of KiO3 at the end of the reaction. So now we have all the final millimoles of each reactant product. But what we really want is the final concentrations of each ion, so we'll want to move forward with that. We need the total volume of the solution so that we can account for the dilution effect. And so we're going to say 24.3 milliliters plus 15.4 milliliters, which was the volume of the two solutions we mixed, and we get 39.37 milliliters. Now we need to calculate the concentration of the KHSO3, which will be trivial since that's the limiting reactant and we have none left, so we have a final concentration of zero molar. For the KiO3, what we found was that we had 1.15 millimoles of that divided by 39.7 milliliters for a 0 0.0290 molar as a final concentration. For the Ki, we found that we had 1.28 millimoles of that left divided by 39.7 milliliters, and what we find is that we have a final concentration of 0 0.0322 molar. Last but certainly not least, the KHSO4, the other product, we found that we formed 3.85 millimoles of that divided by the total volume of 39.7 milliliters. We found that we get 0 0.970 molar. Going back to our table, now we can add an extra row and put in the final concentrations of each of the reactants and products. 0 0.970 0, 0.290 molar for the KiO3, none of the limiting reactant left as we predicted. We have 0 0.0322 molar Ki and 0 0.0970 molar KHSO4. So those are the final concentrations of each reactant and product. This has been a tutorial on solution stoichiometry.